Hello engineers. In this tutorial, we will learn about three constraint tools. These are tangent, equal, and lock. So first of all, let's start with the tangent constraint tool. This is positioned just here. So we'll select tangent. And then looking at our geometry, we have two circles, which are joined by two arcs. Now let's make these arcs tangent with our circles. So first of all, we'll select the arc, and then we'll select the circle. And we can see here the tangent constraint symbol has popped up, notifying us that this arc is tangent with the circle, as we can see. Let's do that again with the smaller circle, like so, and again with the line just down here onto both circles. And there we can see our tangent constraint symbols. We know that our arcs are tangent with both of these circles. Let's give another example of that. So just over here, we have two circles drawn by two straight lines and in the center, an eight millimeter diameter circle. So first of all, let's select the tangent constraint or we'll make the two lines tangent with the two circles. Like so. And just as a final example of this tool, I will select the eight millimeter circle and then I will make that tangent with the larger 50 millimeter diameter circle. And as we can see, this circle is now tangent with our larger circle. And wherever we move this circle to, it will always be tangential to our larger diameter circle. And next, we'll take a look at the equal constraint. So in this sketch here, we have a set of stairs, and each of these stairs are equal. However, if we take a look at the sketch next to it, we can see a set of stairs which are very uneven. So let's use the equal constraint to make each stair equal. So first we'll select this horizontal line here and we'll make that equal with this horizontal line here. Do exactly the same with this stair and the same again with this stair. And as we can see, the equal constraints are popping up. So we know that these horizontal lines are all equal. Now let's do the same with the vertical lines. We'll do this vertical line equal to this line this line, finally to this line. We now have an equal set of stairs. So if I change the dimension of this horizontal line here to let's say 35, we'll notice that every single horizontal line here will change to that 35 millimeter dimension due to the equal constraints between all of the horizontal lines. And again, if we do that on the vertical line, you can see all the vertical lines are now changing due to our equal constraints. And last, we have the lock constraint, which is also called the fix constraint. So that's the padlock just up here. Let's select that. And then first of all, we'll demonstrate this on the circle. So here we have a 50 millimeter diameter circle. We are able to move this circle anywhere we like in the graphics window. To prevent that, we can use the lock constraint, and select the center point of the circle. You can see here, we have the lock constraint symbol and also that the entire circle has turned black, indicating that it is fully dimensioned and cannot be moved. Let's do another example on this line here. So if I lock this line, we can see the constraint symbol appear here. And I'm unable to move this line. However, I am able to extend the line by selecting the endpoints and adjusting these how we want. So to prevent that, again, we'll use the lock tool on both of the endpoints. Now we cannot move this line or its endpoints. It is completely fixed. And the last example I'll give is on the rectangle. So for a rectangle, we will only need to lock three out of the four corners until it is fully constrained. We're unable to change its angle or any one of its positions. And that concludes the tangent equal and lock constraints. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section and I will reply as soon as I can. I will see you in the next tutorial.